you believe that today we are doing his five month update? He is five months today. Well, not today. He's five months and one week. That is crazy. Such a big boy. He is now weighing 7.5 kgs. So he is quite heavy and sorry, he keeps dropping his toy. Let me find that quickly for him. Ta-da! We're back. There we go. These are toysies. He loves rattles. He has another rattle that he loves, but it's a hard plastic one. And he keeps banging himself on his head. And every time he bangs himself, he gets a really sad face and starts crying. So, my friend bought me this, which was quite clever of her, and it's soft. So it rattles and he can chew on it, and it doesn't hurt. Hey, isn't she clever? Talking about hurting himself, oh, I'm sure most parents here can relate to this. That on the odd occasion that maybe you might just, you know, bump your baby by accident, something like that. And JP, whenever I do that, or Claude does that, just by accident, he gets so sad. He bursts out crying and he just won't let us forget about it. So he's not very forgiving if we make any errors. Hey boy, no. Okay, so in this five month update, JP has obviously continued to grow. He is certainly not starving. Look at these big tummies. And as promised for you guys, I have the haul already and we will be filming that shortly so you can expect to see JP's spring and summer haul in a few days, hopefully. JP's hair has started to grow back. I'm not sure if you guys can see that because when he was born, he had quite a bit of blonde hair. It was blonde, so it's not obviously as visible as a dark haired baby. But then it all fell out, he went quite bald. Now it's starting to grow back. Maybe we can start to style it in a few weeks. Make some little crestas. <laughs> yeah, you like that. Um, he is drooling a lot. There is continuously a lot of saliva coming out of his mouth. And there has been for about the last month. So he is always wearing these little bibs. I think it's a combination of preparing for teeth and also the body preparing for solid foods. We did start JP on solid foods a few days ago. I really wanted to wait until he was about six months, but I decided, you know, now that he's into his fifth month, I thought we'd just give him a little spoon of rice cereal once a day just to start to prepare him for the texture of food. But when we did his very first feed, which you can see posted down below, that <laughs> he loved it so much, he pretty much ate quite a bit of it. So he does have that every day for lunch now and he eats it quite well. And of course, Harry is there trying to steal all the leftovers and JP doesn't mind sharing. So that's kind of you, JP. That's kind of you. <laughs> JP and Harry have a very cute relationship together. They are so sweet. Harry always lies by JP and protects him and stays very close to JP, especially if I go out of the room and leave <laughs> JP playing. Harry will stay nearby to keep a watchful eye. And JP loves Harry. Like he continuously tries to reach out and touch Harry and pull his soft hair on his ears. And he often laughs at Harry. He just randomly laughs when he sees Harry. So he finds him quite cute and funny and spends a lot of time staring at him. So it's quite a sweet little brotherly relationship there. JP still loves going out for his walks. He is a very social baby. He honestly is much more happier being out than he is at home. At home, he does tend to get sometimes a little bit bored and frustrated. I mean, even now you can see I'm sitting too still. We're not doing things, we're not going places. 
He likes to go out and take him in his pram and to see the birds and the trees and the shops and the people. He interacts very well with people. He always smiles at people, so people really do love him because he always flashes a grin at them. Um, he is starting to reach out now for things. If he likes something or sees something, he's starting to recognize it and reach out and grab things so we're having to be a little bit more careful about what we place around he is still <clears throat> not sitting on his own and he is not rolling over yet either he is more stable seated so I mean I could put him in a sort of position like this and he could look Oops, sit oopsie okay well it's a bit risky on my lap but he could sit a tiny little bit with a bit of support but he is not certainly stable on his own yet <laughs> Uh, What's wrong? Uh, What's wrong? Let's see. Because of all his drooling, he started to get a little rash here in his neck. So we have to keep this area quite dry inside here because of also all the fat. I think it all just gets all slushy in there. Isn't that right? <laughs> JP does do a bit of tummy uh, time uh, every day. Um, still not his favorite thing. He is getting stronger. He's starting to push himself up his head and his shoulders and he can stay in that position for a little bit longer but it certainly is not his favorite thing to do no he does not like it his favorite toy at the moment is his jumperoo fantastic thing I am so happy I bought this he loves this chair um, so basically at first he always always liked it from when we put him in there but when he was about a month younger when we got it originally it he would tire quite easy you know holding his body in that upright position now he can stay in there longer and longer he's playing with all his toys he's spinning the little dolls touching interacting he certainly loves this he absolutely loves this and it is fantastic for us because I find that it's hard to have him all the time you know carry him around in your arms he's quite heavy and then also he's not sitting on his own so he gets frustrated just being left on the floor for a long time so the jumperoo is a great toy because it really does keep him occupied for quite a while and he's quite happy bouncing in there and he gets quite excited and can go quite crazy and bounce quite quite hectically so he does love that so we have assembled his high chair which um, he sits in quite well. Also, he can't stay there for too long because he's still just a tiny bit wobbly in it. And um, it is really great because at meal time, now we bring him up to the table and we find that he is more part of the meal. He's able to socialize with us a little bit more and he quite enjoys that. So he's definitely wanting to feel like more part of the family and that chair helps him do so. About a week ago, um, JP was very 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 ill he must have caught like a flu bug and I would say this is about the worst he's ever been in terms of illness he hasn't really been sick um, yet he said that you know like a little stuffy nose but this was pretty bad he was all closed up he couldn't breathe he had croup so he was coughing and wheezing at night which was really scary because you know you worry about him breathing and you think oh my goodness if I have to go to the hospital how long will it take could he, you know could you make it so it was a little bit scary um but uh, luckily we've dealt with this a lot with Pierre Pierre has had croup a lot in his life and still suffers with it so we made a little steam room in the shower and got the air all going used to give him showers to clean them out and we also have a nebulizer so that also helped a lot um, but now he's looking a bit brighter he's still not a hundred percent but he certainly has made a bit of a recovery currently JP is not really sleeping through the night we still have him in our bed and I know I know it's all our fault but we just as I told you last month we love cuddles I don't know I don't know I just love cuddling him Claude loves cuddling him so we're just gonna cuddle him we're just gonna do it for now and then we'll face the consequences but anyhow the problem is is that he has started waking up at very regular intervals wanting little sips of milk but from his bottle but the problem is 
is that I don't think he actually needs it. It's starting to become like a comfort issue. So, <laughs> we're waking up at all sorts of times in the night to give him a little sip of the bottle so that he is comforted and goes off to sleep. So that is a bit of a bad habit and hopefully by our next update, we should have resolved this issue, but we're not trying too hard because you know what it's like at night. I know that there are moms and dads out there who can relate. I know that you're out there. I know you're there. Tell me if you're one of these. Is that you're so tired at night. You were just trying to do the easiest thing so that you can get a little bit of sleep and get through the night. That is where we are at at the moment. I mean, I go to bed very late because I'm working very late and so is Claude. I'm waking up very early in the morning, you know, with the kids and schools and that. And then we're waking up numerous times during the night with the baby. So we are not getting a lot of sleep. So when we are asleep, <laughs> we want to keep it that way. So we will just give JP what he wants rather than struggling. But it is our fault. And we probably are making this worse for ourselves. So we will let you know in the next update. Six months. Not in six months time the six month update if the problem has been resolved and we will hope it has let's hope um, but otherwise JP is a very good very happy baby who is clearly growing well we are we do not have issues with weight gain here he is growing fast and reaching some of his important milestones um, he is still an absolute joy and we are all still absolutely loving him Bali is a great sister. She cares for JP a lot. She can't wait to come home from school and play with JP and to cuddle him and to read him stories. He loves being read stories and Bali reads to him quite a lot. He also loves Peppa Pig. So when I was pregnant with JP, um, Bali used to read him pretty much every day a Peppa Pig storybook when he was in my tummy and so when he was born we continued reading him this Peppa Pig book and we had like little Peppa Pig figurines that we would show him and he has just a liking for Peppa Pig probably forced because we've just bombarded him with Peppa Pig so the other day we tried putting Peppa Pig on the iPad little cartoon okay I know it's not good but we just wanted to see he loved it. I'm not kidding you. He was kicking his legs. He was talking to Peppa. He was smiling. It was so cute. So every now and again, when we just want to see his reaction, we put on a little Peppa Pig. Just, he can only concentrate for a few seconds, but he loves it. It totally engages him. I think it must be the colors and the sounds, and, but it really is fantastic. He really does find that quite amusing. But um, yeah. We will let you know at the six month update if we have reached any of the milestones such as sitting or rolling over and we will also give you an update as to the progress of the feeding. Right now we're just still sticking with the rice cereal. I think I might do that mainly now in the fifth month just keep it very light. From six months onwards we will be introducing maybe a bit of fruit and some vegetables and I intend to make this all here at home in my processor so I'm keen to try out different recipes and I'll also share some of those with you for the baby food um, until next month take care and I will be posting our baby haul as well if there's any moms out there and you have any questions or if you want to share some things with me about what your baby is doing at five months I would love to know it's always interesting to know where other babies are at and if your baby is more or less the same so thanks for watching remember if you like this video to give it a thumbs up so that we know that you liked it please and subscribe if you want to follow us if you want to know when new videos come out if you want to know more about the baby and his progress subscribe and then you will get notifications as to the next video JP sends you all a big hug and kiss. He is going off to sleep here drinking his milk. So he won't wave at you today. But he sends you lots of love.